So let guys open the console incognito window. Now here if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now simply click on I understand. And then you have to simply activate the cloud share. Let me show you how you have to do. And if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel. One important thing click on I agree and agree and continue and next to the Gemini icon click on it to activate the cloud shell here basically click on continue and authorize yourself. Now once the cloud shell is ready in the description box of this video I have shared one github repository we will be using that only so just navigate to the description box. Select it, paste over here, hit enter. Now wait for this to get completed. After that, we'll move forward to the next step. Simply click on this first URL. Now for the proxy name, come to the GitHub repo basically. You have to come over here, copy this name carefully. And after that, update the base part too. So just carefully update the base part too. Okay just update from here to here all these things are done now you have to just add the url how will you find the url in the basically the first shell command we have the url so let's move ahead come over here to the first shell okay this url endpoint sorry target url we have to update drag your mouse cursor from to here to here or you can just select it once you see the clipboard icon, you are copied it. Now come over here, replace it, paste over here and just click on create. From here, simply click on this develop option and here basically we have to upload one file. So here if you come over here just right click and open a new tab and simply download it to your local system and we'll be uploading the file so how you have to do click on this and just download it to your local system so the file is successfully downloaded come over here and here you can see we have to simply import click on these three dots and click on import revision click on browse and just simply upload the file now click on import it will take some time click on view revision and just view the file so just click on view revision after that you have to just click on this you can see here just in the save option save as a new version now wait for it to get saved and finally the version 3 has been created after that we have to simply deploy it so how we'll deploy it So simply click on deploy and for the service account come again to the basically the github repo sorry it's github repo not cloud shell session and from there only we have to drag it so just drag it carefully once you see the clipboard icon come over here paste it and click on deploy and then simply confirm now here we have to create an app also so wait for the deployment to complete also meanwhile you can just proceed for the app creation Now here click on the apps click on create app and simply we have to just rename it so rename it so for the app name come over here copy it from here and just paste over here here simply select the developer and after that you have to just come down over here and then just select the one more thing we have to select that is credentials so click on add products select it and just click on add and just create it now here just check the score and if you are unable to get the score just wait for some time and check again and just try to refresh the browser window again and again and just you can navigate to that task and check the score and remember lab takes time to update the score so wait for it